I'm not a fan of nationalism because, I mean, quite frankly, I think the idea that one should be proud of the place where one happened to be born is a bit silly. Um, but I think the place where one happens to be born, one's nation, one's cultural background, and the formative experiences that result from that are of tremendous importance uh, because of the causal effect that these experiences have on every human being. So whilst I think nationalism as this kind of glorification of one, the birthplace where one happened to be born is ri ridiculous, quite frankly, I think um, a kind of a, an interest in that place and the factor surrounding it is not just natural, it's actually a very positive thing. Um, and in fact, I think these two concepts, nationalism and this interest in a cultural background or a national background um, and the differences, I think those are actually two antagonistic ideas. Um, nationalism is antagonistic towards a real celebration of culture or national identity because it seeks to marginalize the other. It seeks to glorify one's own nation above other nations pretty much by definition and so it presents a world of one city on a shining hill. As a result, in that world, there isn't really any alternative to one's nation to actually do any kind of comparison. It's, it almost makes one's own nation meaningless. And it makes it so that there is no understanding that can be gained about one's culture or national background. Um, because this is just the good and everything else is the bad. So there's no real virtue in any of those things or anything to be said positive about it or anything to be criticized. Um, as I'm not a fan of nationalism, I'm also not a fan of individualism, um, which to me is the glorification of the individual. I think there's nothing, again, to be proud of in being the person that one happens to be. And why do I think one is the person one happens to be? As I've put in other videos, I think we're the result of nature and nurture, both of which are outside our control. I don't think there's anything to gain by elevating some while denigrating others, by downplaying the multitude, because that myopic focus only leaves exaggerated hero figures who are whitewashed to the point of irrelevance. And then it leaves the rest, the evil, the stupid, the worthless, and worst of all, the mediocre. The many, the majority, all, all of these condemned to their fate by some innate and intrinsic failing, bereft of value, not even worth a passing glance. In my eyes, to be so ignorant of the world is intellectual high treason. But while I reject the creation of an ism around the individual, just like with nationality and cultural background, I attach enormous importance to individuality itself, which to me, it's the realization that every individual is in fact unique, that it's this uniqueness that shapes all human societies and all human interaction. Individuality is the source of creativity and the source of progress and the exclusion or ignorance of individuality, the thinking that only one's own viewpoint exists and others are not individuals, those are sources of misunderstanding and conflict, which really puts into focus how important individuality is. In short, in my view, to be an individual, a specific individual amongst 7 billion is nothing nothing to be proud of. Um, however, it is something to be intrigued by what it means to be one of 7 billion, to share so many features but yet to be unique and different. It's something to be amazed by, it's something to investigate, it's something to explore, to harness, to share, to celebrate and to cherish. To me, individuality is, uh, dare I say, it's sacred. 
And that's why to me, it is far too important for us to profane it with a vulgar kind of ideology like individualism.